Street Racer is a racing video game developed for the Atari Video Computer System, later known as the Atari 2600. It was programmed by Larry Kaplan and released by Atari, Inc. in September 1977 as one of the nine Atari VCS launch titles. The game was also published by Sears for their Telegames product line as Speedway 2. Details Street Racer was one of the two launch titles programmed by Kaplan, Air Sea Battle was the other. Street Racer offered 27 game variations, grouped into the following sub-games 1-6, Street Racer 7-12, Slalom 13-16, Dodgem 17-20, Jet Shooter 21-24, Number Cruncher 25-27, Scoop Ball Each of the sub-games has roughly the same gameplay, the player controls a vehicle that must avoid or collect certain objects as they scroll down the screen. Between 1 and 4 players can compete simultaneously by using the paddle controllers, which allow the vehicle to move left and right along the bottom of the screen. If a one-player game is selected, the player competes with a static computer opponent that allows objects to collide with it or pass by. Development As one of the earliest games written for the platform, Street Racer suffered from unattractive, blocky graphics. According to Kaplan himself, later racing games released for the Atari, such as Activision's 1982 games Barnstorming and Grand Prix, were able to offer improved graphics and gameplay. In a 2007 interview with Digital Presses, Kaplan was asked what he would change about any of the games he had written. Street Racer is the game that lacks good gameplay. I took out the moving playfield because it didn't flow right, it tended to flicker. If I could change the game to have a smooth scrolling playfield, it would make the game play better. Kaplan went on to become one of the founders of Activision where he developed Kaboom, one of the ten top-selling games for the Atari 2600. Reception Street Racer was reviewed in Video Magazine as part of a general review of the Atari VCS where it was given a review score of 5.5 out of 10. The game did not age well and modern critics have given it poor reviews as well. Gamasutra have described the ''Number Cruncher'' sub-game as a highlight of the game. 